Hey, what's up guys? It's Trevor with Embers Fireplaces and Outdoor Living. You can tell that we're in our electric room, have some new construction going on. We have a lot of new electrics that we've recently installed. So a lot of new electric videos. But today we have a cool new electric fireplace video by Amanti. This is their new bespoke series. Let's dive in. So this is the new Amanti Bespoke Series. Now Amanti's really coming out with a lot of products and so it can be a little bit confusing. Um, so essentially what they have is they have their uh, True View Series, their Panorama Series, um, their Symmetry Series, and this is part of the Symmetry family. This is the Symmetry Bespoke Series. So this is gonna be the most upgraded product in the Symmetry family. Um, which there's a ton of different variations in there. Um, so I'm ready, I'm excited to turn it on. Haven't seen it yet, I wanna turn it on. I'm get you, I want to give you guys my initial thoughts right out of the box here. And uh, let's, let's see if we like it, right? Elijah, hit the lights. So I know everyone's so sad, you don't get to look at my face anymore. <laughs> lights are out, so now let's focus on the fireplace please, okay? That's what this video is for. It's not to look at me, it's to look at the fireplace. So let's get, let's uh, turn this on. Uh, side note, should have done this before the lights were off. I uh, have a new remote system. So this remote system definitely looks a little more intuitive. Um, that's a, the thing I really hate about electric fireplaces. You've heard me complain about it before, is um, those remotes can't cost more than two or three cents, the, <laughs> the standard remotes they give you. So it's nice to see a little effort put into remote control here. So let's, you guys ready? You guys excited? Who's excited? I'm excited. I mean, it's just a fireplace. How excited can you be, right? But let's fire it up. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. She's pretty. Okay, so initial thoughts. Here's the concept behind the flame design. Is if you watch my original symmetry video, um, I'll include a link below if you wanna check that out for reference. But essentially, the original symmetry, the idea was to create more contrast in the backdrop from the flame. So that way you can have a darker backdrop with a brighter flame and sort of create a contrast because on the Panorama series, sometimes what can happen is it can get a little bit washed out. I actually have one over here. Let me show you the difference. So real quick, let's get a zoom in. I like this dark backdrop and then nice bright flame as a contrast. So zoom out and see if you can get, just get the window as a whole from top to bottom, so that way you can see the contrast here. Okay, now let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is the Panorama series, the extra tall. We have it installed way too tall. I'm a dummy, I put this way too tall on the wall. So we gotta get this lowered. But see what I'm talking about with that flame difference? So even though the flame is really bright and it's going all the way up, it sort of is washed out a little bit, don't you think, or is it just me? You think so? so? Yeah, I think so too. That's what customers say anyway, and I, I believe them. All right, let's go back over here. So we're getting distracted a little bit. Okay, so let's start with just the flame itself. Let's really focus on the flame, and then we'll dive into some other features. So besides that contrast, the sem original symmetry does that too. In my opinion, the symmetry is really cool. Um, they're using some sort of a stencil back there. So if we took this thing apart, you would see like a stencil and then the LED lights are hitting that stencil. And I think what happens, what can happen is that can become a little bit too repetitive. And so it can sort of look a little fake. What they've done here is they've tried to make it a little more random as far as, you know, like a real fire sort of have sparks kind of go every which way. And if, if you look at it long enough, you can definitely see that. So for example, here, you're sort of seeing some lines of fire, but then they go away for a while, and then they come back. Do you see that, Elijah? I do. I don't, I don't know how they do that. I'm gonna have to take this thing apart and figure it out, but 100% much improvement. Now, staying focused on the flame, what they've done is they've gotten rid of the blues, uh, like I just showed you on the panorama, and the idea behind that 
is they want to keep it very, very realistic. They want to try to simulate. If you're interested in something that looks very realistic, this is the fireplace you want. So there's no blue in the flame at all. So we essentially have red, orange, and yellow. And then on our remote control, we have six settings. So there they are. Let me turn them up. Okay, so there's full blast. You can see full blast is a little in intense in my opinion. So we have red, orange, and yellow all on full blast at level six. A little too much, don't you think? What do you think, Elijah? Yeah, I'd say so. A little too much, a little too much. So what the factory told us, we got on the phone with Monty and they gave us some settings that they said is the sweet spot. I should have remembered what they told me because now I can't remember. I think I have that backwards. So they told us to t turn yellow on at level six. So there's just the yellow. And then they said orange at level one. So that's what they're saying is the ideal flame color combo for what they're calling their most realistic combo. And I would tend to agree. I think it looks pretty good um, for sure. Now what you could do uh, well, I'm going to talk about the ember bed later. Let's stick with the flame. Now, here's a really cool feature that they've added with the flame. They've added speed control, so we can control how fast the flame is. Let me show you that. So there, see how the flame is slowing down a little bit? Zoom out a little bit, so that way we get a nice... Okay, right there. Okay, now I'm going to speed it up. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to slow it down even more. You gotta be kidding me. That's way too slow. No one's gonna believe that. Not bad looking though. There we go, there's full blast. That's, that's uh, flash mode, speed lightning mode. There's medium. It's fast again. I don't know. Do you like the medium speed or fast speed? I say medium. Medium? Hmm, yeah. let's try again. I definitely don't like that one. That's the slowest. Ooh, you know what though? When it's on slow, we can kind of see our little stencil work in the background. You kind of see that a little more? Yeah. It's more noticeable, but it's definitely random. See how it like goes up and then goes away? That's kind of slick. So you see here, there's like a big flash of flame and then it goes away. So they're definitely doing a good job at not making that so repetitive. So there it is on fastest. Kind of like that right there. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so there's the flame. We spent a lot of long time on the flame. Another thing that they've added, and this is a love-hate thing. Believe it or not, a lot of people ask about sound. So they've added some crackling in here. So I'm gonna just shut my mouth for a bit and let you hear the sound here. There it is off. All right, get the mic in close. Actually, I should use my mic that's on here. Let's give a listen. Okay, so not bad. I've heard better sound machines, like Dimplex makes a really good one. This one's okay, not bad. I'm not a big fan of the sound machine, but some people absolutely love it. If you're one of those people, then you'll like it. Okay, they also have a top mood light. Let's go through those functions. So see the mood light shining down on the media? That's a green. Now, again, what the factory told me, and I'm also gonna agree with them here. Oh, see, now it's on a cycle. See how it's cycling to blue? Um, they said they prefer with the mood, if you're going for a real, realistic look, they prefer it with the off. Um, I'm inclined to agree, because see how you're getting these like bright pockets on the backdrop? I don't know if the camera's picking that up. You see that there? Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but I think it could be, I, I just like it off. That's just me personally. So anyways, that's, there's it on, there's it off from a far, far away shot. On, off, on, 
off. Okay, you get the point, right? You get the picture. All right, what else we got here? Okay, ember bed. So see the ember bed here? So this is on, let me see what it's on here. I can't see anything with the... Okay, so there it is with the red color set to the one. And you can see that the red sort of pulsates. Let's see here. Let me turn that on. So see the red sort of pulsating? It kind of goes bright and then dim. So they're saying the red pulsating ember bed, the mood light off and the flame to this setting is gonna give you the most realistic look. Again, I'm sort of in inclined to agree. But if you like other colors, this is where you can get fun with it. So this is where you have your blue settings. You can do some green. Let me turn the blue down, get you the green colors you like. Eh, I don't, I'm not a fan of green in fireplaces. Let's try the ember bed totally off, see what we think. I kind of like it off. I almost like just the flame, because then the focus is on the fire. So that's the flame, or the ember bed, sorry. Um, I think this is my favorite setting, this combo right here. Okay, what else? Okay, media. So we just have some crushed glass in here because I think crushed glass does the best job of focusing on the fire. But you can have your choice of like the birch logs or the uh, rustic log kit, and that's no extra cost. It, it just comes with it. You just have to specify what you want, um, which is kind of nice. Personally, I like it just nice and clean because again, our focus is on the fireplace. So let me show you why I'm not always a big fan of the logs. Um, come back over here. So here's the panorama. What happens sometimes is these logs sit out in front and the logs are so three dimensional, because they are, <laughs> and then your backdrop is two dimensional because of the LED lights. And sometimes I think these three dimensional logs can really highlight just how two dimensional the flame is. Does that make sense? You can't answer me because it's a video, but hopefully that makes sense. Whereas when you just have crushed glass, you don't have a three dimensional object hardly, I mean you do, but it's minimal and it doesn't really affect the flame. And so our flame is the focus, which is what you really want in a fireplace. And so unless you have like a Dimplex Ignite sort of technology where they have that mirror panel, it's right here actually, let me just show you. I'm all over the place today, which again, we'll be redoing our top five videos. We'll be updating that soon, or not top five videos, our top five electric fireplaces. So you'll get to see all these in detail. But the Ignite, see they use reflection to reflect a, a back in behind the flame. So it looks like the flame's coming out of the middle. Well, this bespoke doesn't have that. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because the advantage to that is you don't get any reflection. So if you're in a bright room or daytime, you're, it still looks very, very good. And your, and your LED lights are very, very bright but that flame is in the back wall of the fireplace. So when you put logs back there, sometimes it just makes the flame look too two-dimensional, in my opinion. That rant was way too long. So let's recap the upgrades. Better remote system. Oh, one thing we forgot to mention, it does have Wi-Fi controls. So you can control this on your app. I haven't had a chance to play around with that too much. I tinkered with it a little bit. I still think this remote's gonna be the easiest way to use it, but you can control this on your phone as well does have a basic, you know, 5,000 watt heater, like most electric fireplaces. Comes in a 50 inch and a 60 inch, so it is limited on size. Um, I anticipate that to change. So after this product starts doing well, which I know it will, uh, we'll probably see more of a size lineup, you know, full spectrum of sizes uh, in the near future. This frame is removable as well, this, this, uh, frame but what's nice about this frame is it kind of makes it a slide in so it installs nicely in a two by six wall so it checks a lot of boxes it's well priced i think it's a monty's best looking flame that they've made to date i think it's their most impressive most attractive electric fireplace that they offer as far as flame goes um, so that's in a nutshell so we have wi-fi better flame uh, sound machine and speed control on the actual flame itself so a lot of cool upgrades 
over the basic symmetry. Don't forget, if you're in the Denver metro area, come down to our showroom, check out our full electric room in person. Um, I would, I dare I say we have the largest selection in the state, if I, be, if I may be so bold um, to say that. Uh, but the, I think you'll find more selection here than any place else. Um, and of course, we'll have this product on display here in our showroom if you wanna check it out. If you're not local, check out our website, peruse our YouTube channel, subscribe to our channel, and then you can get updates on other electric fireplaces um, that you may be shopping for. Our website is embersliving.com. Check out our YouTube channel, Embers Living. On, if you just go put that in on a YouTube search, you'll find our channel. Then you can peruse our electric fireplaces on our YouTube channel for other videos. We'll also include all the links down below for this product. Uh, I think that's it. Am I missing anything? I, I sure hope not. How long are we rolling now? 16 minutes. 16 minutes. That's way too long for an electric fireplace video, but what are you going to do? We got to educate you guys, right? We got to teach you guys about this stuff. So don't forget, I'm excited. New top five electric fireplace video. It's in the pipeline. Be patient with us. It's going to take me a bit to get this room all painted and ready to roll. Still have a few more to put in, so it'll be a little bit, but it is coming. In the meantime, we have our old one, which is already outdated. Electric fireplaces update so fast. So a new one is coming, and I think you guys are going to love it. So stay tuned for more. Thanks so much.